What is good, everybody? Happy Friday. Hope you're making money on this beautiful Friday. I'm here in a part of town, which is a really nice part of town. We've done plenty of deals here. Um, this intersection right here and well, that intersection, that road and this other road right here, we, we did a deal on this road. Scott Valley is where we're at. And I am walking through a property that we're going to be doing make some money on. Um, I'm gonna talk to you about Burr. So I threw a property that we're going to be doing make some money on. Um, I'm gonna talk to you about Burr so I can answer any questions about that. Let me flip this around a little bit. So I like these properties. So first off, you know, obviously if you look at this deck, um, it needs to be painted, right? So we wanna make sure that we have a uh, uh, good curb appeal, right? And so typically what we're doing in these homes, um, cosmetic type rehab. So we're not gonna like replace anything unless it's not, not functional. So we're gonna, um, for this part right here, we are going to um, just power wash this, power wash the siding. Um, it's a good condition from a standpoint of the exterior. But then when you go inside, obviously there's animal smells. We're getting this animal smell out of here. Uh, we're going now into the living area and this is like a split level home a lot of these homes <laughs> that were built in the late 90s in this particular pocket are like split level homes right let me just show you the outside it's kind of like the neighborhood there you go nice neighborhood right I buy 20 houses a month here i like that style of house and this is what the majority of them look like um a lot of cosmetics going on in here. We're gonna probably keep the cabinets. We're not gonna do anything out of the ordinary. This is kind of a weird spot. What up, Sam? So off of the kitchen, you got this. They didn't build out the deck, right? So I, I think this has been budgeted to do the deck um, because we wanna make it functional. But all right, so typically this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep the cabinets, probably paint it, all right? This is a rental, so we're doing the burst strategy. The the flooring we're gonna replace. When you update the flooring, it does increase the value. Uh, we're gonna put new appliances in here um, and some new fixtures. But that's it, we're not gonna put granite in here. We're probably gonna keep uh, uh, the, the standard, basically the standard rental style um, countertops, you know? Nothing too fancy. And so here's the numbers. We bought this for 107, okay? We got yeah, what up? Um, we got this lead from our website. So we invest in PPC, pay-per-click, and um, we got a really good deal. Houses here are going for 200 and sometimes 210 because the market's freaking amazingly hot. Um, a lot of stuff's going highest and best, so take advantage of it. Um, the uh, rehab, it's about 25,000, guys. 25,000, we're gonna be all into this for around 132. We're anticipating this to appraise for uh, about 200 conservatively. Bank's gonna give us a, a refinance loan. Right now we're seeing a lot of 75% of the appraised value. But I know um, that we are talking to another bank that will go as high as 80%. So if that happens, um, hopefully by the time this is done, then we can get this up to 80%. I'm in Columbus, Ohio. Let me know what city and state you're coming from. Um, and if you're in real estate, let's connect. So there's the uh, backyard and it's obviously distressed. We're gonna get a new AC in here. That looks kind of shoddy, but we got a downstairs bath, full bath. So we got a three, two going on here, a nice fireplace. And, um, we're gonna be all in for this for like 132. We're using private money lenders, none of our own money. And if you guys wanna do deals like this, I don't think the, oh, okay, we got a light on here. Scary garage. Um, two car garage. This thing's gonna rent out to be about 1650, okay? And the rental market's hot too. Real estate market is nuts. Um, <clears throat> so at the end of the day, we're anticipating to be all in 132, and the bank's gonna probably give us a loan for 150. 
We are going to pay back our private money lenders, points and interest, and I think after all the dust settles, we will have 10K in a cash out refi, right? This thing's gonna cash flow around six, 650 a month, none of our own money, using private lenders. Um, and let's see, so it's rented for 16, we're gonna rent this out for 1650. Total project is probably gonna be um, like 20 to 25, and it'll probably take us about three weeks to complete. Um, this crew works pretty fast. They're on their way here and they're finishing up another rehab that we have in another part of the town. And so on the way here, wanted to do this quick live with you just to kind of show you um, what a burr type property looks like for us. And, you know, this neighborhood's, I like it. You know, it's a little bit nicer neighborhood. Houses here are um, going for around 200 to 235 on the high end. And I want to answer any questions you guys may have. So this is like the, uh, the exterior, as you can see, like the nice brick face. We got a little guard dog right there. You guys hear the guard dog, a little pit bull. Whoa, 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 okay, big guy. Uh, we gotta do some, you know, lawn upkeep. It's looking kind of, you know, if you, if you now, nowadays, spring and summer, if you don't upkeep your lawn, you're gonna get a, a notice from the city. Um, but that is, that's a burr. Buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat. And um, that's how you, I mean, you, when you want to scale your business, you got to have your processes and, and people in order um, so that you can do, you know, five, 10 of those a month. Uh, and then you're on your path to financial freedom after that. I mean, how many, how many properties do you need net cash flow? If you want to work backwards, do you need to replace the income that you're getting from a W-2 to be financially free, to be your own boss? You know, so sit down, write up a plan. Let's just say your bills are twenty five hundred a month, and your job's paying you about six to seven thousand a month. Just you know, give or take some rough numbers. How many properties do you need to get um, the six to seven thousand dollars a month passively coming in every month? How many properties, right? Um, so that's what I talk about in my channel, guys, if you're, if you're just, if you're just, uh, joining my live, let me know what city and state you're from. If you're in real estate, let me know what type of real estate, bring your questions. I'm going to do this Q and a, um, I got to go, I got to go home, get some lunch. Let me answer your questions though, as I drive back. Okay. Private money loans. Um, we don't use um, hard money. Let me know if you guys can hear me. I'm gonna have to use um, hard money. Let me know if you guys can hear me. I'm gonna have to. If you can, let me know if you can hear me audio wise. All right. Um, there's benefits of of um, getting your license. And listing properties in house, you save a ton of money on commissions. Um, but you do not need a license to do this. I don't have my license, but we do have a license in our company. Okay. Um, and the benefits of that, I'm telling you, if you get your license, you get obviously access to the MLS, multiple listing service. Um, you also get to network with other realtors, right? There's that whole like, are you an investor? Are you a realtor? Um, there's those two different worlds. You'll get the best of both worlds. You get access to, to deals that you would probably never see because a lot of these realtors do um, deals with other realtors only for some reason. Um, but a lot of it is just to, uh, uh, you know, getting your license to save money on commissions. Do you need to get, to get it to, to do wholesaling? No. Buy and hold? No. So, um, would I recommend? It really depends on, on what you want to do. A lot of people want to get their license so that they can get additional streams of income through real estate. And that's to, 
uh, represent buyers and sellers. So it's up to you if you want to do that. San Diego in the house. How's the market in San Diego? I kind of already know the answer, but I want to I want to see if if uh, I'm going to hear. It. Oh, okay. All right, guys. Let me show you something real quick. I talk a lot about driving for dollars, right? Okay. I talk about driving for dollars, and this is a clear sign. Let me let me turn this camera around and show you what I'm. Can I? I can't zoom in. Oh yeah, I can. Okay. Do you see that right there? See that? That's damaged siding, right? That's damaged siding. So guess what? You best believe I am going to put this in my deal machine app and not look super shady because there's a big freaking dog in the yard. Look at this big ass dog. A lot of pit bulls over here. Um, okay, 17, oh, no, it's 1375. What road am I on? Great Rock, 1375 Great Rock, or Great Brook. All right, hang on a second, guys. Let me uh, put this into my um, Driving for Dollars app. Deal Machine, if you guys um, want to use Deal Machine, you can get a free trial. That's what it looks like here. Probably have to log in. But I'm putting this deal in, So, and I've got a team that once I put this lead in, they will um, do the rest. 1375, looks like Great Brook. Great Brook Drive. 1375. I love driving for dollars, guys. It's money. Money, money, money. Here we go. Great Brook Drive. All right. Um, so, anyways, I'm driving around. This is the stuff that you guys got to look at. I mean, if you if you're if you're trying to start your own business in Columbus, Ohio, that's really easy to use. Pretty user friendly. Four, three, two, three, bam. Oh, 1375 Great Brook. Did I spell this right? Yep. Might be Vandalia then. Let me try Vandalia. Vandalia. Yeah. Anyways, um, so I'm putting this app in. I'm putting this address in the app. And then once I put this in, it's going to notify the team. They're going to um, skip trace it. Um, and put it in our in our lead, and um, I think uh, I think we're gonna get another one here. Let me drive around. So, anyways, we just got. I just did a video on um, how, like a step by step on how we're burying this property in this neighborhood. And I'm trying to find my way out of here, and um, I like taking the uh, the the you know the the other route because then I can find other streets I've never been in um, and find houses, man. This is like, it's what I do, you know? Um, so let me answer some more questions, guys. Let's see here, how do I start? Okay, that's a good question. Exactly what I'm doing right now. Driving around, looking for distressed property and being okay with getting lost a little bit because you're gonna run into some neighborhoods you've never drove past. But if you find distressed homes, Especially now when um, high grass, fuck, like this is high grass. And you guys, okay, look at this. Look at this. High ass grass, siding is dirty as hell. Um, I'm gonna put this in, 2039, yeah, I don't care. Put this in, see, get the team working. Um, driving for dollars is one of the easiest ways to um, get started low cost this app's about a hundred bucks okay um, and then you can get their phone numbers and address from the uh, from the app and you can just pick up the phone and call them talk to them hey I drive around the area I'm looking for a house uh, to buy selling simple as that and if they are then guess what negotiate um, 
ask questions about when they uh, last updated the home. Um, I give away my formula. It's in one of my videos. We take the ARV minus 70% minus repairs minus your um, assignment fee, which uh, typically is around like 10, 15, or 20,000, depending on your market, would be your max allowable offer. They accept the offer, then you put it in contract. Guys, it's free game. I'm letting you guys know this is this is how to do it. You know, put it in contract. You got my contracts on the site. Text me 614-810-4622. Get you the contracts. Then you go find a buyer. Mark it up 10, 15, 20K. Go find a buyer. They're on Facebook real estate groups. Waiting. Hungry. And then you get your assignment contract. Wrap up the assignment contract and purchase a contract. Go to the title company. They do the closing for you. I like getting wires. I don't, uh, you know, it's 2021. We wire money. Get the wire and do whatever you want. Take yourself out to a steak dinner. Maybe put money away and start putting money away so that you can invest in rentals. So you can be financially free if that's what you want so anyways happy friday we're driving around i just did a uh, a burr video i'm gonna put it on my um I, I appreciate you guys who follow me by the way if you guys see a lot of value in this then share it with your friends we're growing our community if you want to join our community text me 614-810-4622 my business partner my outspoken and share it with your friends we're growing our community. If you want to join our community, text me, 614-810-4622. My business partner, my outspoken, quirky business partner, Dave Perichin, and I have been doing videos. Um, we are creating a community, and in this community, we're going to be doing a lot of deal reviews of houses that we bought, um, how we structured them with private capital. We're going to show you how to find private lenders. We're going to show you how to do our business. Uh, at a very low cost entry rate to be a part of this community, okay? Um, and we're super excited about it. one of our one of our members. Um, to I, he did it like five wholesale deals. His name is Antonio, and he's completely crushed at 19 years old, and um, so happy, you know, so happy to see somebody else succeed. Um, there's a ton of properties for everybody. A lot of you guys think like, oh, why are you know these guys sharing their secrets? Guys, that's how the universe works. When you add more value to people, you end up making way more money. And yeah, there's a money piece to this. I'm not going to lie, I like making the money. But there's also that, hey, I'm helping people out. Because when I was getting started, I didn't have access to all the, the cool tools that we have access to now. So more power, more power to you get access to our, our tools. I just showed you Deal Machine. I've um, done several videos on Deal Machine. The Deal Machine works. When you're out and about, you see some distressed property, put it in Deal Machine, get their phone numbers, contact them, use our contracts, start wholesaling them if you want. If you want to do the birth strategy, you got to raise private capital so that you can actually get purchase and rehab money, right? So you can acquire it and then you got to renovate it. Then you got to rent it out and then go to a local bank and refinance. All right, more questions. Have you ever had hard private money lender? Have you ever been the hard money? Yes, yes, we have been the lender. Yes, sir. Um, how much money do you need to start? Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the followers. So I appreciate you joining the community and, and joining me on, on my little journey here, my little rant. My little rant on a Friday. I'm excited. Oh, didn't get a lot of sleep last night, but it doesn't matter. I'm alive. I'm here. It's a beautiful, beautiful day in Columbus, Ohio. It's a, it's a beautiful time. It's a great time to be alive. I'm telling you. All right. What's up, DV? What's happening? When can you cash out refinance? I hear it's when you have 20% equity in the home. How long is that? All right. You can do a cash out refinance whenever you want. Doesn't Having equity in the house helps for sure. Um, and that's why we show you when you're buying homes to have at least 30% of equity at, all in purchase and rehab so that um, when you refinance with the bank, you pay back your hard money lenders or private money lenders and you have the equity. 
you know so and then if you do it right you can pull out cash um, because we get so we're good at finding off-market deals and getting good deals that we can be all in for even less than 70 and percent and so you keep the difference and what we do with that money is that we keep it in our account um, rental account so that it can um, be uh, used for any surprises that would um, happen to come up on a rental property plus we also pay i mean obviously like we're not you know we're capitalists at the end of the day we're here to make money hopefully you guys who follow me are here to make money because if you're not then this isn't the channel for you um, so we're going to use some of that other money to do what we want with it, right? Travel, whatever's making you happy. Can you be my mentor, sir? Um, go to my, uh, click the link on my bio and get on our website and sign up for that um, and join our community. Um, so in that community, we do um, group mentorship, okay? And I'd love to help you transform your lives. Um can, how do you find these burr deals? So this last burr deal was from pay-per-click advertising. So we have a website. This person um, could have could have gotten a piece of mail, maybe from us, maybe from somebody else, but they went online and they typed in, maybe I want to sell my house fast, cash, and then boop, our site pop- popped up. They went on our website, put in their um, information, and then our team immediately called them. If, if it's a website le- website lead, we're immediately calling them within the hour. That's a that's a that's a KPI that we freaking you know we we're fast to get to these leads because guess what? It's a hot freaking market. We're not the only ones investing in PPC. So you know what I'm saying? So. Um, can a new flipper flipper get a money lender 100% fund the deal? So a new investor, um, the answer is yes. You can find a private money lender, right? That's willing to give you um, 100% of the purchase and rehab. Hard money lending will be tough. Hard money lending, uh, hard money lenders in general are corporations. You know, they're companies. Private lenders are. You know, just could be your uncle, could be your friend, it could be anybody walking down the street, just having their money sitting there, making zero point one 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 percent, whatever it is. Not a lot of money in the bank these days, guys. So, what do they need to do? They need to find you. They're waiting for you to contact them. To call. They're waiting to have a conversation with you because you have access to off-market inventory that they could put their money in and earn ten, twelve percent, whatever deal you want to structure with them. So think of that. So hopefully that helps you. That I mean, our first private lender um, took a chance with us. Dave and I, you know, we had we had a track record of finding good deals, but um, we had to give up a little bit of equity. But guess what? It did. We got to do um, I think close to twenty five deals that first year with them. Uh, we started building our rental portfolio and allowed us to do deals to give a little bit of the equity. Then after that, as we earned our stripes and got really good at real estate, then we were able to use their, um, you know, they're also mentors to us. So we used their uh, money and got it working and built up our credibility packets. And then we went to other lenders or other people, individuals, and said, hey, here's what we've done. Here's our track record. Bro, I can't wait. Thank you. Awesome. 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 Time freedom. Yeah, dude, time freedom, right? So starting out, wholesale property, because you're going to be able to um, figure out the market there, wherever you're at. You'll get good at talking to motivated sellers and also talking to buyers, and you'll get knowledge of real estate. Then after you get a lot of traction with wholesaling or flipping, (laughs) then you start buying rental property. Okay? Um, You guys can still hear me, right? Okay, good. Can we get a 25k credit if I buy a house in March 202 um, 2021? So I don't think the 25k um, down payment grant that they are proposing passed yet. But absolutely, if you if you want to use that when it does pass, get it. Do you need an HVAC guy? 
uh, DM me if you're in Columbus, Ohio, Cincinnati, Dayton, or Cleveland. Um, we're always looking to add to, to our roster. So DM me. Uh, let me know who you are. Um, I have been keeping up with the DMs. A lot of people are sending me videos. Um, not sure what that's all about. Maybe it's a TikTok thing, but um, send me a DM and let's, let's see what we can do. Guys, I got to pay attention to the road. I think my wife saw that I'm on uh, I'm live here driving, so I got to get off. I will be back though. Um, last yesterday, I, I was planning on getting on live around like nine and ten.